after a local chief, Kamina Ansapu, rebelled against a corrupt and brutal government, he was killed. In the terror that followed, both sides committed atrocities. We were sleeping when they entered our place and asked, who are all these people sleeping here? We can kill all the men who are here, and after killing them, we will tell our chiefs and show off about so many people we have killed in this village. A nurse points to the swelling caused by malnutrition. By pressing the skin, Crispa and Putu can assess the severity of the condition. Imagine walking on these legs. With the worst fighting over, people are returning to their villages. But they find homes burned, property looted. We were starving, for we had no food. We headed to the main road to look for food, but there was nobody, only dead bodies. Then a young woman, weakened by disease. She is being taken home to die. At this food distribution, only half rations were being given out. The World Food Programme is running out of money to feed the hungry and is warning many will die without international support. Money that might have helped provide nutrition and health care has been stolen by a corrupt elite, aided by foreign corporations. This is the heart of the matter, as I put it to the governor of Kasai. As a government official, do you feel any sense of shame about the looting, the corruption, that has helped to bring your people to this misery. You know, this concept of corruption cannot be challenged. But it should not be tied too much to Congo or Africa and used to justify the absence of action. The most important thing is that when you give money, you get some guarantee that this money is well used. This is the government-run hospital in Chikapa, the second city of the province. Three-year-old Ishutsi Mbombo has just died. A distraught mother waits for news of her sick child. And a lullaby, as tiny lungs fight to survive. Just some lives out of so many here, hanging in the balance. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Kasai. European leaders are to meet in Brussels on Thursday to discuss the issue of migration. The talks are expected to focus on the occupation of the people who are not allowed to do it. Thank you very much. I am going to talk to you about the BBC. I am going to talk to you about the BBC. I am going to talk to you about the group of people who are not allowed to do it. I am going to talk to you about the BBC. As their boat began to sink beneath the water, we almost died, you know, thanks to the Libyan navies. By immigrants, Gambians, Libyans, I think. 